operations on tensors alright as we promised so we we'll just start off with addition alright so addition itself can only occur with same order alright as shown over here same order what do I mean by same order if you take a look in terms of the initial notation i this is vi also alright so you if you were to remember the initial no notation rule is that 3 to the power of order or the rank or the number of initial notation alright it's just simply p so in this case we have one initial notation which is i alright and therefore we have 3 to the power of 1 is equals to 3 and therefore we have u1 v u2 v u3 and v1 v2 v3 alright if you add them up together you have this form over here same as 3ij you will have 3 to the power of 2 initial notation because I have i and I have j so we have 2 initial notation so therefore 3 to the power of 2 is equals to 9 and therefore 3 times 3 plus 3 times 3 is equals to 3 times 3 so this is the meaning of it otherwise i is 3 um, variables times j is another 3 so this is why I have 3 times 3 over here if you want to say that alright and therefore this is simply the uh, the addition but what I want to convey it's something something really in depth which is wi plus pij alright can you do this? you can never do this why? it's because this wi it's w1, w2, w3 which is a a 3 variables with um, tensor or vectors I would say and this is 3 times 3, right? So a 3 times 1 can never add with a 3 times 3. You have to have a same order, same order of initial notation, or the same number of initial notation. So this is why addition can only occur with the same order. And this is the keyword. Alright? And so let's go to contraction. What is contraction now? If you still remember, AX is equals to B. This is a matrix, this is a vector, this is a vector. So a matrix X on a vector will give you a vector. Alright, so if you would expand this thing, I would have AIJ, alright, and XJ. In the end of the day, I'll have VI. Alright, so I have a vector of three variables, V1, V2, and V3. Right? And therefore, um how do we do in terms of contraction? As you can see, J's, these two J's are dummy indices. Alright, so in, in other words, we are removing the dummy indices away. Alright, so in, in a more concrete way of explanation, let me sum up A, I, J, alright, this, this I, J, sum, let's sum up all the initial notation. So I have three over here, right, I, J, and J. So I have, in summation, I have three in, in initial notations. And over here, I have one initial notation. So for one, so for one dummy indices, I'll have a minus 2 rank this is the law that you need to remember so how does this actually apply for higher systems alright and what does this mean alright so imagine if you have a a certain huge tensor and a vector now how do we do this alright how do we know um, at the end of the day how many tensors or how many initial notation should I write over here Alright, so to do that, we have a method, so we just sum them up together, we have 3 and 3, so we have 6, 6 and 7, so I, so there's total, in total we have 7 initial notation, alright, and over here we have 5 initial notation, alright, so this implies that I, alright, is the dummy indices, so we cancel, out, cancel them up together, we have 7, we have a minus 2 rank, or minus 2 initial notation, is the same meaning so therefore this thing applies to all alright so if you don't still don't believe and not very convinced yet why not add in a another k initial notation alright in this case the, sum, the summing up of them is there is a total of 8 initial notation and because dummy indices cancel each other therefore I have 4 initial notation in this case because I have 2 initial notation right so 2 times minus 2 I have minus 4 rank and therefore this is 
8 minus 4 is 4. So I can simply write that as that. So this is just the meaning of contraction. Alright, we are now still in the contraction sector, but now I want to contract this um, 3 by 3 matrix. How do I contract? Alright, in order to contract this 3 by 3 matrices, what I can do is to apply the trace of this 3 by 3 matrix. Alright, so the trace itself is simply to multiply it with a chronicle delta. Alright, so the chronicle delta has two. Um, so in when multiplying with the chronicle delta, we have actually two dummy indices. Now i and j are both dummy indices, and therefore at the end of the day, we should have something like um, some values that is there is no initial notation. I call it a zero la. There is no initial notation anymore. All right, and therefore what we can do to do is that um, we can write it in terms of a matrix so that it is more clearer and therefore so I'm just simply writing all the i's and j in terms of 1 1 so there 1 1 t 1 1 is simply writing in terms of this all right so I'm just filling up all the all the matrices if this doesn't ring any bell um, this is what we should do la, okay so Next one one we have one two one three so two one two one two 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 three this is the, the set of matrices that you will need to do and therefore when you do it up all right because this is just trying to do it in terms of i and j so only so one one and one two one three this is just simple it's 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 really straightforward matrices and therefore if you do that all right using the chronicle delta rule if you remember if i is equals to j then chronicle ij is simply is equals to 1. If i is not equals to j, then chronicle delta ij is equals to 0. So what does this mean? Alright, if i, so you know that i is in this value, j is this one. So if i is equals to j for both cases, right? So this thing, alright, so, so therefore, um, this one becomes 1. Alright, same for this 2, 2 and 3, 3, right? Because i and j are the same. So therefore I have 1. Alright, and for the rest of the case, you know that i and j's are not the same anymore. Alright, so because 2, 1, 3, 1, they are all not the same. We want it to be the same, 1, 1, 2, 2 and 3, 3, right? Because they are, they are, they are the same, just, just that meaning. So therefore I can cancel up them together. Alright, so if you still don't know what I mean, it's simply that i, j, and t i j over here. So if delta 1, 2, i is 1, alright, j is 2, and then, so j, i and j is not equal to each other, right? 1 and 2 are not equal, right? And therefore, this delta i j is equal to 0, and therefore, this is equal to 0, and then 0 times t21 is equals to 0, whole thing becomes 0. This is what I'm trying to to, to pronounce or say or, or whatever. So at this case, we will have t11, uh, t22, and t33 left over. The rest are zeros, right? So this whole thing is simply a trace. We call it a trace. Later we'll discuss it again. So if you don't know what the hell, we will we'll talk about it later. So this trace itself, by definitions, all right, is simply this whole thing builds up on a vector, all right. But in this case, it is just a x-axis vector, all right, because you know y and z they are all zeros, all right. So therefore, I have x-axis vector, and then I have in in this sec in this vector, we have a y-axis vector. And this one, I have a z-axis vector. So summing up together, I would have all this, all right. And in other words, this is just simply t11, t22, and t33. This is just a vector. So if you were to use the summation rule or the Einstein summation rule, I would have e. I mean the capital E, i equals to one, three. T i i. Alright, TII is simply T0 because 
is by the rule of minus 2 if you remember the contraction it's just simply rewriting so you can rewrite t as tii also it, is, it depends or you can write as tiii it's the same thing okay it all depends on um, how many rank you want to be because this is this ii is in terms of a somewhat how do i say never mind i'll not i'll not deal with it all right i'll just keep it this form all right i'll just keep it in this form at least this is okay so in other words tij as we just started off over here can be contracted to tii using the chronicle delta function all right so this is the contraction so contraction it's just simply the dummy indices the minus 2 rank you need to know and that you can contract a tensor or of two order using a chronicle delta to have a TII system over here alright or in other words a trace and therefore the last part of this video I'll just talk about differentiation next video I'll talk about multiplications and stuff which are all this alright so in this video I'll just end with a differentiation so how, what is it all about? If I have a vector vi, all right, one initial notation, this represents v1, v2, and v3. All right. If I were to partial differentiate this dude, in terms of partial x, j, <coughs> how do I write this um, in a shorter form? All right, this is just a definition. And therefore, if I can write this, I'll just write as vi, Alright, this is the thing. I differentiate. Differentiate sim implies that we use a comma. Comma is just simply saying that it's differentiation. Alright, and this is the, the language. And then J. Alright, so VI is differentiated across with J. That's the meaning of that. Okay, now let's add on a successive differentiation. So I squared. I partial again in terms of xl in this case all right if that's the case then i'll just write it over here jl so i differentiate vi first time with j second successively we differentiate with l this is the meaning all right and therefore the next thing i just want to convey to you is something really different all right is that when you differentiate a um, 3 by 1, or in other words, 3 variables vector, when you differentiate it with j and l, which is 2 order, or there is 2 initial notation, right? you differentiate 2 times, you would have a 3rd order tensor. All right? So if you differentiate 1 time, you have a 2nd order tensor, meaning vi is just n order all right for example and if you were to differentiate with j you have n plus one order if you differentiate again with l you will have n plus one plus one order if it's k then it's n plus one plus one plus one which is three la, okay so this one dip is somewhat corresponds to how many times you plus how many times you differentiate is how many times your matrix or your tensor will become so you have a much larger tensor in the end of the day that's the meaning of that and therefore the next thing that uh, I want is just to convey to to sing this this concept better is that if I have a partial um, partial uh, let me see x square Okay, maybe not x square. My fault is x subscript two. All right, so partial f a certain function. All right, a differentiate partial across partial x x two. All right, what do I have? Okay, I'm simply writing f. All right, because this has no initial notation, so I'll just keep it blank over here. I put a comma because I differentiate now in terms of x two. So I'll just write as 2, that's all. Alright, so this is the number of um, um, stuff. Alright, so this is 
in other words this is um in the two spatial um place I would say. So L J are some they indicate some spatial um information. Alright, some spatial information. So two itself also indicates a certain spatial indication. Alright. But I just don't want to go into further, but I just want to let you know this this thing. You can instead of writing in J or L you can write in terms of X two or X one. Alright, so in the future you may actually go across this and you may feel a bit weird, but just to let you know. Alright. To end this thing, let me ask you what is this thing? How do you write this? Alright. To write this, first of all I'll just write in the A. I look for the initial notation for here. There is no initial notation. Alright, so I'll just keep it blank. And the next thing I'm gonna do, alright, is to write a comma because I differentiate. Alright, in terms of x, j. So j I differentiate. But in terms of three times, right? Q. So I have j, j, and j. So I differentiate three times. Or I can simply write as a, comma, j, q. Alright, so this ends the part for the differentiation. And in the next video, we'll talk about the multiplications. Alright, I think I'll split into a few videos also. Because there's a lot of to cover. I shall see you there.